when we move from one place to another the measure of total land covered is called distance so you have to travel to this town and the best route is straight up north but because of road rocks along the way we have to take a car for trajectory way and the distance covered would be something like this now when the road rocks are completed the distance needed to be covered would be something like this distance is measured in meter and denoted as lowercase m the distance between these two towns is about 20,000 meters but because of the trajectory way you had to cover a distance of 50,000 meters Okay, nobody like big numbers. So, we should always know 1 km is equal to 1000 meter. In our example, we can say instead of 20 km, you traveled 50 km. Is distance a scalar or vector quantity? If you say someone traveled 20 km from this point, you can't really tell where he landed up. Maybe here, maybe there, or maybe just went around in circle. As it does not specify a direction, it is a scalar quantity that brings us to displacement. So, what is displacement? Distance with direction is displacement. Distance with direction, what do you mean by that? You meet two separate trips to the town. Was the distance covered in both the cases same? Have a good look. It was not. In each of the two cases, the distance was different. The time you took for the trajectory way was greater than the time you could go straight across. But if you call someone to tell them where you were, in the both cases, your location is this town which is 20 km towards north of your home. The displacement in both the cases is same. You travel 20 km towards north. North shows the direction and because the direction is specified, displacement becomes a vector quantity. Now let's look at this example. A teacher asks the student to quietly stay where he is and the teacher went to his office. Now student went outside and returned back to own place before teacher came. The teacher came and assumed the student in the same place as he had not observed what happened in the last few minutes. He assumed the student has not moved. Lots of distance covered by the student but zero displacement. If the distance traveled is straight line, the displacement will be the same magnitude as that of that distance but with the direction provided as well. In most cases in our day-to-day -day lives, the distance covered is greater than the displacement seen. If you really understood the difference between distance and displacement, you should be able to answer the next question. When a passenger travels by taxi, is the taxi driver charges based on the displacement or distance? Taxi driver charges passenger based on distance. If you go to the neighboring town and return in the same taxi, the taxi meter shows you the charges for the entire round trip.